Cloud9 made a big gamble on Woxic at the end of 2020, and it apparently hasn't paid off. What is up, ProGuides family? It's Kristoff with you guys again. Welcome to 2021, where it's starting basically where 2020 ended off with a bunch of letdowns, visa and travel issues in esports, and confusion over whether or not there will be any LAN tournaments. 2021 definitely isn't the fresh start that many of us were hoping for, but it's still early. Of course, it doesn't help that there's already been some unfortunate news hitting the Counter-Strike scene. The latest is Cloud9 dropping Woxic after just four short months. Is that enough time? I want to know down below what you guys think. Cloud9 CSGO General Manager Henry Greer, or Henry G, made the announcement earlier today on Twitter, sharing some insights into why Cloud9 was dropping the veteran opper so suddenly. With bringing home trophies being Cloud9's primary focus, they took this break from competing to really figure out what it would take to prosper in 2021. And guess what? They thought that he couldn't hang. According to Henry G, there were apparently some glaring problems that meant big changes had to be made. In a statement, Henry G said that there's no denying Woxic's skill and explosive world-class potential in CSGO was there, but he noted that recent months have been hard for Woxic and his squad. So what were the issues? Well, apparently there were challenges the team couldn't overcome. This included unreliable high ping and issues with time zone coordination. COVID has turned esports upside down a little bit, although not as much as other industries. Outside of a lack of in-person tourneys, there's also plenty of visa issues. In the League of Legends scene, Broxa has been battling this issue, meaning CLG started without him in the LCS. In Overwatch, things have also broken apart completely as South Korean players were sent home across the ocean. It's definitely been crazy, leading to a lot of shocking decisions in this industry. CSGO teams were not immune to this, and it seems as though Woxic had been frustrated with the unbudging situation. The high ping, unstable connection, and varying time zones had Woxic very unmotivated, leading to some underperformance problems. Fans will remember Woxic being benched earlier this month. Now it seems that Cloud9 doesn't believe these problems can be overcome. According to Henry G, the decision to terminate Woxic's contract at Cloud9 was a mutual decision. He explained that Woxic was now left to pursue other opportunities without the pressure of the bench. Henry G did add that the decision may have been a shock to some Cloud9 fans. He said it wasn't a decision the team made lightly, and he's not wrong. This was a twist not many of us saw coming at first. Woxic joined Cloud9's Colossus team back in September 2020. The three-year deal was worth a whopping $1.365 million. That sounds like a basketball or football player contract right there. While Cloud9 didn't lose that entire amount due to this failed roster, it's most likely in the hundreds of thousands due to buying Woxic from Mouse Sports and paying Woxic's salary. According to one trusted esports insider, the transfer cost Cloud9 300 grand. And for the salary, the power of mathematics tells me that Woxic was paid about 37,000 per month. Times four, that's 150 grand, which is a pretty good chunk of change over the short time at Cloud9. Okay, so what makes Woxic worth so much? The Turkish Opera had come from Mouse Sports, a team that had won a handful of LAN tourneys in 2019. That includes CSGO Asia Championships and ESL Pro League Season 10 Finals. Woxic was even crowned MVP at the last one. Seriously, this guy was no joke. He told HLTV at the time that he had turned down a lot of offers to be with Cloud9. When he learned more about Cloud9 and how comfortable they planned to make their players, Woxic said the team would most definitely find success in five to six months. But Cloud9 didn't even keep Woxic long enough to test out the theory. Come on guys, you couldn't even keep him one more month to see if Woxic's theory was proven correct? Talk about the lack of faith, guys. It seems that Woxic didn't feel as confident and comfortable as he thought he would, meaning Woxic wasn't the only one making claims. Seems Cloud9 wasn't able to follow through with their promise of comfort, leaving Woxic frustrated and underperforming. Let's not blame Cloud9 alone here though. Woxic was said to be benched on Mouse Sports not because he wasn't talented. The guy was considered the 12th best player in the world at the time. But instead, it's actually because of his attitude. The CSGO community has often called Woxic toxic as well, making his behavior no secret. But Cloud9 still decided to take the risk and it looks as though they might have ignored some important red flags. If the poor attitude thing were true, I would fear for my career, Woxic said after being signed to Cloud9. 
He claimed the accusations of being toxic were just rumors, nothing more. Honestly, it was probably because it just sounded funny with his name. But now it seems his attitude and behavior have gotten probably a little bit struck again, causing a backlash when the scrimming situation didn't go his way. So Cloud9 made a pricey mistake here, and only a short time after dropping their coach, Alexander Kasad Trifunovic, this was another shocking change the CSGO community hadn't expected at the time. Kasad stated that it was over philosophy and coaching style. Henry G added that there's no bad blood and nobody's at fault, but once again, it just looks like another misjudgment from the European team. But Cloud9 will most likely recover before any major tournaments start up again. It looks like they are close to signing former Chaos player Eric Zeppa Bach. For a while, it was unclear what spot Zeppa would be taking in Cloud9. Henry G had noted that he wanted a six-man roster in case anything goes wrong. But with Waxit gone, now it looks like Zeppa might get a chance to take a main position on the team. He's a fresh face in the CSGO scene, but one with a lot of promise. Cloud9 fans will most likely get to see him take to the stage at the IAM Katowice's play-ins on February 16th. While fans are disappointed they won't get to see Woxic back in action, it will still be pretty exciting to see the Colossus squad prove themselves against the tough competitors. So, what do you guys think happened with Woxic? Was it simply a matter of high ping, or do you think there was a bit of toxicity involved? And how do you think the team will do without him? Will Zeppa be an improvement despite being less experienced? Only time will tell. Find out next time on... Just kidding. But seriously, if you guys like esports content, subscribe to Pro Guides Esports right now. We're going to give you guys all the up-to-date news that you've been looking for. This is yet another shocking twist in Cloud9's Colossus arc, and another bit of bummer news at the start of 2021. But Cloud9 is a great team. We'll see if they can prove themselves next month. All right, guys, it's been great to see you again. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We'll see you in the next one.